This may be the best idea I've ever had or the worst. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I've seen a couple other people do this and I decided I wanted to jump on the bandwagon and show you guys the best coffee shops in Orange County. I have a list. I haven't been to most of these actually, but I have heard of them, which makes me think that they're pretty high up there. Obviously, I can't go to every coffee shop in Orange County. Uh, that would not be good for me in so many ways. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. <laughs> My stomach already hurts thinking about the amount of coffee I'm about to consume. And caffeine doesn't really affect me at all, actually. But I've also never gone to coffee shops back to back to back. So I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I guess that we'll just see how I'm doing and if I can't get through it today, then maybe I can just pick up tomorrow and just have double caffeinated days. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's go on in, get into it. The first place that I'm gonna go is called Blue Tree Cafe and it's located in Anaheim. Let's go get our coffee. Oh my gosh, just have to share real quick that there were three girls in front of me as a group, right? They were taking so long. They bought $40 worth of coffee. I hope that they're taking it back to a staff meeting or something. Anyway, the place was super, super cute. Um, it's all like vintage bicycle themed, like the stools have little bike handles on them. Oh my God, somebody's coming, I'm embarrassed. Uh, there was like a bicycle hanging from the ceiling and stuff. And then they were giving out free stickers. So this one says, strong woman, strong coffee. We love to see it. This is the drink that I got. It's the Blue Tree Latte. And look how, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, oh, they spelled my name wrong. This shop is also woman owned. And at least when I went, it was all girls working there. So we love to see that on women. International Women's Month. So anyway, here it is, so pretty, but I'm gonna mix it. Okay, it's kind of turning into an ugly color, to be honest. Oh, oh, it has a rich flavor, but it's very like cinnamony, if that makes any sense. It seems like they had a lot of like Hawaiian blends and stuff, so I'm not sure if maybe the owners are Hawaiian or maybe just inspired by the culture. It does, um, taste like a drink you would get in Hawaii. I don't know, I've never been to Hawaii, but it's made with their like house-made almond milk and then like a honey, like a house-made honey and like spices and stuff. So I like this, you know what? And it's not as sweet as I would usually like it because I like sweet coffee, but this is freaking good. I'd give it like a, like a nine out of 10. So I'm gonna drink this and our next stop will be this place called Portola Coffee. That one is in the city of Orange, so we'll head there right now. Okay, hello guys. Ooh, sorry for the weird lighting. Just got out of Portola. I think that's how it's pronounced. Weird. Okay, so it's in uh, Old Town Orange, if you're familiar with the area. It's all closed down for like outdoor dining and stuff right now, but there wasn't that many people, so that's good. I was looking for it, I was like, I don't see it. And then I found a building that said the name, but it also said provisions on it. So I literally stood outside, because <laughs> I was like, this does not look like the right place, and looked it up on Yelp and confirmed it was. But it's part like coffee shop, part, brewery there's literally a sign that says beer that way coffee that way and they have tons of like beer bottles all over and then it looks like they maybe sell breakfast like full-on breakfast items and like beer and then there's like a tiny little coffee section on the side so um i i stood out and they probably stared at me like what is she doing i pretended like i was like talking to somebody <laughs> trying to get their coffee order <laughs> but 
Um, I literally did not know. I, it also looked like they were closed. It looked like no one was in there. And then I saw like the, um, not the bartender, <laughs> the barista. And I was like, okay, so yes, they're open. And then there was a sign that said, we assure you we're open. And I was like, that's a little sad because there must be people who just assume that they're closed. I got an iced vanilla latte with oat milk. Uh, so let's see what it tastes like. We have a lovely strawless lid, which I love because save the turtles. Oh, oh, <laughs> hold on a second. That has a, <laughs> that has a weird after, oh my God, I could already, my stomach is like, no, please. It has a weird um aftertaste. Maybe it needs to be mixed a little bit. There's something weird. I think it's the coffee. It's not the vanilla. It's not the oat milk. Something in the coffee tastes, just has a, a slight weird aftertaste. The inside of this one was really cool. There was literally nobody in there except for me, so it went pretty quick. I would give it like a, like a five out of 10. I was gonna get the ice chai and I feel like I should have gotten that instead. But anyway, peeps, we have an issue. My car only has two cup holders. I don't know why the creators of the Honda Civic were like, only give it two cup holders, it'll be fine, even though I have five seats in my car. What sense does that make? I think I'm gonna go home because I physically can't, can't have any more coffee in this car. So we're gonna go home real quick. We'll continue this tomorrow because it's already getting kind of late. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I continue this. <laughs> Hi guys, it's the next day. So I'm gonna keep it real with you guys for a minute. I was not feeling my best yesterday. After I stopped recording, I got a little woozy and then I got home and I like immediately laid down and just wanted to take a nap. So the caffeine did not work and I was very thrown off cause I only had like maybe half of the first one and a couple sips of the second drink. And I was not sure why I was feeling that way. I was straight up feeling like you would when you're getting a little tipsy, okay? And I don't know why and it was freaking me out. Today, we are rejuvenated. We are feeling better. I think it was a mix of me maybe being dehydrated and doing it on an empty stomach. We've eaten today and I think that I'm gonna maybe try to order more like iced teas or something. My goal is to go to three more places today. So I think I'm gonna get like an iced tea and then maybe something, just not all like straight coffee. So I'm sorry, I know that this is like a coffee <laughs> taste test thing, but just so that I don't die. You know, most of these places sell like iced tea also. So I'm just gonna be trying that aspect of it. So uh, let's go. Our next place is going to be Golden State Coffee Roasters in Placentia. Let's head over right now. So just got back from Golden State Coffee Roasters. I love this coffee shop. I've come a couple times and the inside is so nice, it's so big. I feel like this place would be popping if it wasn't COVID. It was even kind of popping now, but it's so big that I think they can keep people spread out pretty nicely and everyone's really good about wearing their masks when they leave their table or anything, so that's great. I have ordered other things from there before. Um, I've ordered the iced chai, and in my opinion, the chai is a little watered down, but I think the best thing on their menu is their Arnold Palmer, and so that's what I got. It's also great because it's gonna help keep me hydrated, so. Oh, that was only iced tea. Hold on. So good, so refreshing. It really is a perfect lid. Something about it is just nice. And the ice kind of comes through nicely. It doesn't like hold up your drink like how sometimes a Starbucks lid, lid does. Next place that we are going is this place that I'm really excited to try and it's called Contra Coffee. I believe it's in Anaheim. I have heard so much about this coffee shop. I've seen so many people go there. So we're gonna head there right now. So we have a bit of a dilemma. So Contra is actually very close to that place that I came yesterday in downtown Orange. The problem is apparently everybody decided to come or sorry, Old Town Orange. Everybody decided to come here today and there is literally no parking. I'm not joking that I circled around the entire thing for probably 10 minutes and it also doesn't help that there's a lot of construction happening and like that's taking up some of the spots and causing a lot of traffic. 
So I think I'm gonna go to a different coffee place and then maybe we'll attempt to come back and maybe it'll just be quieter later on in the day. Uh, it is like lunchtime right now, so I guess everybody's eating. So we are going to go to this place called Melted Vinyl in Brea, and let's hope that we have more luck there. Okay, just got back from Melted Vinyl. Super cute coffee shop. It looks like they have a lot of like vinyls that maybe you can buy, but maybe not right now because of COVID and like the music is playing through like a record player and they have shirts and like vintage clothes it looks like that you can buy. And there's just like funny things like written on the wall and stuff. Everybody in there was super nice. I think that it was the owner who seems to be the only one there making drinks and everything so i got their iced chai and he said that he makes the chai in house so i'm excited to see also their little um thing is uh like a ouija board oh hold on this is awkward these are people that i saw in the coffee shop hold on okay sorry i saw some people that i saw in the coffee shop and i got embarrassed let's give it a try shall we oh this chai is interesting. It almost has like a, like I don't know what kind of spices <laughs> they use, uh, but it tastes almost like, kind of like maybe they use like clove in it or something. It has a very like earthy flavor, if that makes any sense. But that's really good and it's not too like overpowering. You know how sometimes chais can be like a little too spicy? It has a nice like natural flavor and almost like a vanilla-y flavor too. And I got it with oat milk. And their oat substitute, or their, sorry, their milk substitutions are only 50 cents, which we love. I think milk substitutions should be free, but that's just me. So I'm going to finish this and listen to some more Justin Bieber. Hey guys, so I'm back home. The whole two cup holder situation. But if I'm being completely honest, I <laughs> don't want to drive back to Contra because I'm thinking, it's gonna still be crowded because it's a Friday and everybody's out grabbing lunch and stuff. It's still technically, it's like 1.30 right now. If you know where Orange is and where Brea is, it's not that far, but I like drove all the way there and then drove all the way back. So I'm just not feeling up to driving back there again, which sucks because I was very excited to try that place. So I'm sorry if this is a letdown. I will probably try it soon just not today. It's lunchtime, I have not eaten yet, so I'm pretty hungry and then I have just some other things that I need to do. Hope you guys are cool with that. But thanks so much for coming along on this journey with me. I think this was super fun, minus me getting a little sick yesterday, but it really like had me out going outside and exploring more of Orange County that I usually don't go to and to try out some new coffee places instead of like going to Starbucks every day, you know. Definitely think I found some places that I want to go back to. So that's awesome. That was the whole point of this video. If you live in Orange County, let me know your favorite coffee shop down below because obviously there are so many more that I could not get to and I would love to try them out. Thanks again guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.